trust God. Trust is firm belief in the reliability, in the truth or ability of someone. So, trust is actually you are believing in somebody's reliable nature, their truthful character and their ability to do something for you. Otherwise, you will not trust. So, I tell you, trust is above faith. So, when we give a message, when people give messages, their first aim is to create a faith realm there. When you are really in the faith area, then from faith goes trust above. So, you start trusting somebody means you know for sure that somebody is there to take care of me. I can rely on him. When I am in need, I can depend on him. On earth, there is nothing. Nothing is dependable because nothing is within the control of human beings. We do certain things. God allows that. The sun comes in the morning. There's, the moon comes in the evening and the, the tides come and go. So, this is all allowed. But many of the times God when he is close, closely watching you, when he wants to do greater things through you, you need to reach the level of trust. But trust God all the time. Your confidence should be only in God. God can do the impossible. Trust with no limit. God will fight with you. These are all ways you should tell yourself. I do not have to worry. I do not have to worry because God is in control. He takes care of me. I can, I can do all things because God is with me. The battle belongs to the Lord. In 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 36, we see that David did not have the strength to face David. David did not have the strength to face Goliath all of a sudden. He had to be trained in the field with sheep and the self-shepherd. And when the lion or the bear came to kill, David used his fist, he used to go after it, killing them, rescuing the sheep. So, the character of tenacious nature of David was developed by gradual or consistent experience which he gained in the field. So, anything which God wants you to do in his ministry or for bringing his glory, whatever we need to do on this earth which is everlasting, he needs to train you to trust him. It is very important. God wanted Moses to trust him. So, what God did? He took Moses to the top of Mount Sinai and he stayed there with him for 40 days teaching him what all things to do, instructing him. So, Moses got the strength by knowing him personally. So, a test, it is a test here to strengthen the faith to strengthen your prayer life, strengthen you to read the Bible is given and then when a problem comes, you trust this God because you have no read about him in the Bible. Through all these tests, you learn to trust God and here New Testament period, we are trusting Jesus because he came as a human being to call our uh, our sin redeemed us and showed us the, uh, the everlasting path. So, we need to trust him. David trusted God to see him through and through and through in his life because any problem comes when Saul was about to kill him, when uh, the enemies were after him in the battle of Siklad and all, when everything was taken away from him, immediately he will go back to God and ask him, what should I do? The Old Testament period is shadow. Still, David trusted God. And that's why God treated him like a friend. Are you a friend of Jesus Christ? Moses could face Pharaoh because he trusted the God who I am. Trust God to heal your sickness because he said, I am the healer. And Joseph could trust God because God gave him a dream. And he believed it, he trusted it. So, in the same way, we can write down all our needs on a piece of paper and start praying over it, giving to him on a daily basis. 
and I noticed whenever we pray, whenever we pray in the evening, we give so many rare prayer requests because so many people ask and then our own needs, children's need. It's like a, it's like a big, <laughs> it's a, like a big array of needs written before him. But when we pray, we notice that some of the prayer needs we take daily. And we, one of the vision God showed me was that every time we pray, there is, our prayer requests are written in heaven in golden letters. The more we pray, God takes another brush and put it in the gold liquid and brushes it on top of the other earlier request. So I really thought that's a good vision because every prayer request is like a golden letter before the Lord. But it's not does, does not get enough life or weight until we pray continuously, and we he brushes it again and again. The more you brush with with gold uh, liquid, and then ultimately when it dries dries up, it, it's a golden, it's a like a big thing there, heavy weighty. So your prayer gets weight there, and then the right time comes, the answer comes down. Another friend of mine said that if you really trust God, you start praying. There is cups in heaven, and when the cup is full it will t be tilted or overflowing and the answer will come. So, you may not get the answer immediately, but trust God. He is listening to every prayer request of yours. Noah trusted God and he could save his family. Jonah ran away, so he ended up in the fish, fish's belly. Lot's wife disobeyed God. She became a pillar of rock. Joseph trusted God. He became the second in ruling. And Samson did not trust. He ended up in the enemy's hand. So, trusting God, trusting God is very important. You need to ask God, give me the trust, stability, character. God's plan for us is always for our good. Believe that, that is the thing. That is then when you need to use Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, trust in the Lord. This, this, this whole topic these days, I am, God is teaching me and talking to me about trusting God. Maybe that is the one which is the season is for trusting God. Trust Him, He will do the impossible thing. Let go of the need to know more of why, what, how, all those things. Trust God and leave it to Him. Let Him control. But say no to my will, but to your will. We should learn to say that not my will, but your will be done. Because that's the most important. Trusting with all your heart, mind and soul is very important in spiritual life. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And trusting God yields fearlessness Tenacity and courage. Don't you need tenacity to hold on to it? Courage and we'll wait until the end is over, fearlessly standing before God. He loves those characters because fear is not from God. Fear is from the devil. If you don't have love, you get fear. God can do the impossible. He can give you peace. And God wants us to trust him totally, control give him. And then in Isaiah 40, 31, he says that if you really trust God, what will happen? You will soar like eagles and then you will go up above. 40, 37, beautiful word. I'll read it and finish it. Uh, Isaiah 40, 30. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. What a wonderful thing. You are soaring like eagles, flying above, watching everything. At the right time, you know when to go down to get the prey. May the Lord give us that trust character in us so that we can, what he, we are desiring, we will be able to do and complete it gloriously in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us to trust you. It's not in us, Lord, but when we read more of Bible, when we sit with you, talk to you like a friend. Earlier we are frightened, but we changing from fear, we are coming to the love stage. When we start loving you, gradually we start loving, loving, loving. And you correct us in between and we run away, but we still come back to you because there is no one else. Your love is so stable so we know that we can run unto you and we learn more about you and the more we come 
they learn from you we start trusting you and you god wants us you you want us to trust you completely give us that gift of trust lord teach us to trust you so that we be able to abandon all our worries at your feet and take charge of our life in a much more a leisurely way relaxing and enjoying every day we forgot that lord you want us to be like child like enjoying every day with you we forgot we forgot remind us so give us some time to spend leisurely sitting with you not even talking to you just sitting with you enjoying your presence we love you lord we praise you we ask all this in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen and amen